Let's do a math problem. What do you get when you add one boy, one girl, and one sword? I don't think you understand mathematics. You get one pissed off Dr. Mahesh Warren. One day, while dropping Connie off after sword practice, the amazing disappearing lion leaves Stephen and Connie with Rose's sword, which is then confiscated by Connie's mom, who has to go back to work because the hospital just got some unusual new patients. Apparently, some wandering gem fusion monsters were just admitted to the hospital. They're there to be dissected after they got shot a bunch of times, right? So while Stephen and Connie try to get the sword back, the fusions run amok. But it's okay because that leads to some quality mother-daughter bonding and stuff. I'm conflicted about Nightmare Hospital. There's some really good stuff in this episode, but there are also some things that sort of bug me. The best part of the episode by far is just the general atmosphere. The gem fusion monsters are just creepy as hell, and there's a great sense of tension. But the whole point of the episode is advancing the relationship between Connie and her mom, which is a good idea. All we've really seen is a whole lot of harsh parenting, so it's good to know that underneath all that there's a legitimate mother-daughter bond. We also get to see some nice interactions between Steven and Connie. It's cool to see them working together as a team while fighting the gem fusion monsters, and just solving the problem of how to get Steven's sword back. What really holds the episode back in my opinion is the setup. First off, Lion acts like Gandalf on opposite day. He leaves exactly when he's needed most. Also, I find it odd that the forced fusions were brought to a civilian hospital with no additional security. Especially since, unlike Amethyst, Garnet, or Pearl, who can all pass for human, the forced fusions are clearly horrifyingly unnatural. Also, why did Connie's mom attempt to take the pulse of something that has six arms and no head? Personally, if I saw one of those things, my reaction would be kind of like... I also find it weird that no one is remotely curious about these things. Finally, the comedy is okay in this episode. Steven has some funny moments, but surprisingly the standout is Connie's mom. She plays straight woman to these crazy situations, and her attempts at helicopter parenting are actually kind of funny. So if you're interested in seeing more of the relationship between Connie and her mom, or just some nice Steven and Connie stuff, this episode has that. But man is the setup weak, and the laughs are kind of few and far between. So I give Steven Universe Nightmare Hospital a tentative recommendation. Now be sure and come back next time for my review of Steven Universe, Sadie's Song. And if you are interested in more reviews of anime, movies, TV shows, comic books, or video games, check out my channel on YouTube at StupidPrivate913, or find my Facebook and DeviantArt pages for video updates and more. Thank you for watching. Hey kids, today's show is brought to you by the letter 4 and the number potato! I'm a stupid private.